Pot call is probably one of the most versatile and one of the most popular friction calls on the market. Pot call creates just about every sound that a turkey can create as well. And I love to use it. I love to run and gun with it. I like to change the voice of the hen up. I go to a pot call. It's really, really simple when you go to run a pot call. Like so, you're going to hold the call and the fingertips. Never lay it in the palm of your hand flat because it deadens the sound. Always hold it in your fingertips. Most Woodhaven calls actually have grip channels where you can put your fingertips in, as you can see here. Okay. Take the call. Hold it lightly in your hand. Generally, a quarter inch in from the outer edge of the circle of the call is where you're going to find the sweet spot. It differs from call to call, company to company. But if you go a quarter inches or so in from the outer rim of the call, and that is where you make your first contact, you'll work your way around, you'll find the sweet spots on the call. This particular anodized aluminum ninja, I know where this sweet spot is, so we're going to start there. What we're going to do here, again, holding the call lightly in your fingertips, you're going to hold the striker like I like to hold it, what is called a pencil style. And it's just like when you write, just like writing your name. It's an easy way to start. You get good control of the striker. It works great. Remember, pressure can be the death of a pot call. So never, ever squeeze everything down too tight and choke that striker down. It'll take some of the rasp and the resonation out of the call. From there, we're going to teach you how to yelp. You're going to put the call on the calling surface about a 60-degree angle, like so, okay? And you're going to create oblong circles. I start from the right and then I go to the left. This is going to be reversed on camera, but I start right and go left. If you're left-handed, you may start left and go right if you're left-handed. And you're going to make an oblong circle. Never take the striker off the calling surface when you're creating these circles. If you don't, or if you do, you'll hear a lot of clicking as you're trying to pick the call up. and You can hear the clicking from the contact. You never want to pick the striker up, okay? Even when you're cutting or clucking, which we're going to go into next. So from there, you start from the right, you'll get the high. Light pressure, light pressure, holding the striker about halfway up, okay? And you're gonna get that high front end of the you know, Yelp note. As you run that oblong circle, that fish hook, if you will, and curve, you'll get the rasp. So you get the high, and there's the rasp. That's the back end of the fish hook, the circle, and that's where you're getting the rasp. So high, there you go, low, high, low, high, low. Hear it? From there, you're gonna run those little circles together and put it in a hen rhythm, a yelping rhythm, like so, and you're gonna have a hen yelp on a pot call. There's the hen yelp. Now to cluck, it's even easier, actually. Same positions, same grip, same grip. You're gonna slightly push downward on the call, same angle, kinda of slightly pointing away from you. You're gonna push slightly down on the calling surface with the striker, and then you're going to pull it just with a little movement of your forefinger and your thumb. You're just going to kind of assist a popping motion with a little light pressure. And that striker will jump on the calling surface, creating the cluck. Like so, let's see if I can do it sideways for you. Just like that. Beautiful cluck. See, I'm pulling towards. Well, I would be pulling towards me, but I'm doing it sideways so you guys can see it better. There's a beautiful little cluck. Just remember, pull it towards you with a little flick and that thing will jump and that creates the calling cluck. And what you do is you'll bring that calling striker back to the same position you started in and just repeat the motion, so like so. See, I'm bringing it right back to starting position. Never taking it off the calling surface. So I'll do some clucking in the open. There you have it, clucking and yelping on a pot style call. To take your calling instruction even further, go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and look up Turkey Tech with Scott Ellis. It's an in-depth look at the wild turkey's vocabulary. It has pro tips on how to call birds, when to call birds, when to use the call. It has wild turkeys creating the sounds. It has me giving instruction in audio and video blocks. It's a very, very comprehensive look at hunting and calling the wild turkey.